Hello and welcome. First and foremost, I want to begin today by recognizing all of those among us who have been part of the great brotherhood and sisterhood we call the U.S. military. Our veterans, active duty service members, guardsmen, and reservists. Your service and sacrifice have kept our country safe and free. Veterans Day looks a lot different this year than it has in the past. Our current state of affairs and the protective measures implemented across this country in response to COVID-19 have forced us to think creatively to ensure we stay safe while honoring our nation's heroes. If you are watching, thank you for taking the time to remember our heroes. And to our veterans, on behalf of Ashgrove Junior High and High School, thank you for joining us today as we pay tribute to your service. Please enjoy your day in this video. Today we celebrate veter veterans living among us, and we also pause for a moment of silence to recognize, tho recognize those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. World War I officially ended when the Treaty of Versailles was signed on June 28, 1919. However, fighting ceased seven months earlier when an armistice, or temporary cessation of hostilities between the Allied nations and Germany, went into effect on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. For that reason, November 11, 1918 is regarded as the war to end all wars. In November of 1919, President Woodrow Wilson proclaimed November 11th as the first commemoration of Armistice Day with the following words. To us in America, the reflections on Armistice Day will be filled with solemn pride of the heroism of those who died in the country's service and with gratitude for the victory, both because of the thing from which it has freed us and because of the opportunity it has given America to show her sympathy with peace and justice in the councils of the nation. Unfortunately, the years ahead brought other world strife and needs for military offensives. The armistice was replaced with the words veterans. So on October 8, 1954, the Korean War, following the Korean War, President Dwight D. Eisenhower issued the first Veterans Day proclamation that stated, in order to ensure proper and widespread observance of this anniversary, all veterans organizations and the entire citizenry will wish to join hands in common purpose. Beginning in 1978, Veterans Day continues to be observed on November 11th, regardless of what day of the week on which it falls. The restoration of Observance Day of Veterans Day to November 11th not only preserves the historical significance of the date, but helps focus attention on the important purpose of Veterans Day a celebration to honor America's veterans for their patriotism, love of country, and willingness to serve for the common good. If someone has done military service, they earn the title veteran and more. They earn our deep respect and admiration that they are special and no one can ignore. What do you think of when you hear the word veteran? Here's what our FFA members have to say. Integrity, legendary, patriotic, inspirations, dedicated, refined, warrior, thankful, hardworking, passionate, America, ability, liberty, dedicated, soldier, peacekeeper, Devoted, willing, strong, noble, honored, selfless, trustworthy, human, courageous, monumental, heroic, hero, sacrifice, hero, hard work, outstanding, determined, warrior, loyalty, Fearlessness. Proud. Dependable. Smart. Service. Courage. Ambitious. Thank you for your service. We owe our veterans support and friendship. Let no one ever question what they're worth. 
These men and women served us in our country. Our veterans, they are the best on earth. Today, we are pleased to present our marching pirates as we recognize the veterans in our community. Our Marine veterans include H.R. Gare, Joe Harmon, Michael Karsh, Tom Koch, John Lorraine, Georgine Murray, Donald Nicholson, Lynn Sarton, Richard Stokes, and Jesse Thee. Coast Guard veterans include Doug Evans and Jack Hamlin. From the Air Force, Mark Amoros, Donald B Bowling, Robert Calderon, Steve Curl, Steve Hill, Gary Key, Vance Matson, Dan Nicholson, James Homer, Larry Pack, George Parker, Robert Allen Carter, Vance Matson, Jesse Welsh, and Angela. Finally, our Navy veterans include Bob Barker, Tom Blugoff, Doyle Daniel, Ron Deegis, Dan Downing, Jerry Griffin, Joe Hatch, Mike McMain, Paul Papez, John Sayer, and Lynn Taylor. Due to the extensive nature of the Army Veterans List, we will now finish reading their names. James Hurd, Frank and Peggy Eichert, Diana Johnson, Doug Johnson, Zach Kars, Michael Keck, Scott Keane, Rex Krask, Alvin Lamb, Joe Lesway, Robert Lehman, Keith McElroy, Vernon Michael, Carl Owen, Damon Payne, Jim Recamper, Bill Rolwitz, Ronnie Battles, Greg Sandin, Charles Stark, Todd Starr, Bill Stauffer, Tom and Kathy Tipton, Tommy Clare, Jeremy Ware, Kenneth Welch, Charles West, Rex Wilkinson, Larry Williams, Phil Willis, Bill Will Willoughby, and William Yates. We'd like to thank you for being in attendance of our Veterans Day appreciation video. We're thankful for those who've served and are serving still. Families, friends, members, and guests, look at those around you and think about where you are, where you're sitting, and what you're doing. Thanks to the men and women that we honor today, we have the freedom to do all those things. Thank you for your time, and God bless. <laughs>